Hello and welcome to your yoga practice. I'm Phoenix Wilson. Today's class is being brought to you by the Baker Hunt Art and Cultural Center and that's currently where I'm offering online yoga classes. These mini yoga videos are in part brought to you through the generosity of the Charles H. Dater Foundation, the Kentucky Humanities, and the National Endowment for the Humanities. Today I want to share with you a brief yoga sequence you can do at any point through the day to help just relieve a little bit of that tension and tightness that tends to build when we sit for long stretches of time. No props are necessary. Uh, roll out your mat or whatever space you're working with. And remember your body is really your best guide or teacher in that. If you're feeling pain, discomfort, even if there's a question if you're not feeling it, if it's feeling uncomfortable, that's a good signal to ease off. We don't necessarily have to do every single yoga pose. So it's your practice and honor your body. Okay, with all that being said, let's go ahead and begin simply starting in child's pose. Child's pose is one of my favorite poses to do to help relieve tension in the back, especially when we've been sitting for long periods of time. And it's also nice to stretch into the hips. So we wanna start with our knees just slightly apart, a little wider than hip width apart. That gives a place for the chest and torso to rest. And then allowing the head either to rest to the floor itself, or if that's not comfortable, the head can always rest to the back of the hand. Even if the hips don't touch all the way to the floor, that's okay. If the hips are a little bit higher, that's fine. Just allowing gravity to take the weight of the lower body towards the floor. And as we pause here for a few moments, begin just to tune in to the movement of your breath through the back of your rib cage. Deep inhale and exhale. Relaxing the eyes, jaw, forehead to the floor. So the weight of the head heavy to the back of the hands or simply to the mat. And let's take three deep breaths here together. And then on that third inhale, just start to stretch forward through your arms. Press your sit bones, your hips down and back, but your arms stretch forward, lengthening through the side of your body. Start to stretch your hands off of the mat to either side, reaching long across the room, lengthening through the rib cage. Take a breath in, extend to the other side, reaching again long across the room. Easy sweep back to center. From that center, we're coming right into table pose. Hands resting under the shoulders, knees under the hip. And as you exhale, start to round your spine and then breathing in, lifting upward through the tailbone and the collarbones. Just this soft, gentle, slow movement waking up through the spine. Connected with the breath, the exhale rounds the back and the inhale lifts through the heart and through the chest. One more lift through. This time as we exhale, start to round the spine, move the rib cage just a little bit to either side with the spine rounded, extending into the side of the rib cage. Breathing out, start to circle the hip down towards the heel, moving into the hip, circling a few times one direction, and then a few times the other direction as well. From here, coming right back to table pose. Stretch either leg, back behind you and just nudging the heel towards the ground, feeling that stretch into the calf, all through the leg and reverse. Take your other leg, stretch back through the heel. Curl even the baby toe into the mat, stretching into the sole of the foot and the tiptoes. So let's say we're going to take our left leg back and we just curl the toes into the mat. If the left leg is back, take your opposite hand, your right hand to the sky, and just start to twist, lifting the chest to the sky. You can give a little movement into the wrist, wake up through that hand, and then reverse. Now I'm taking the right leg back, 
Exhale is nudging to the floor, breathing in and lifting wide through the chest. Little circle in the wrist. Exhale, come back. Let's just do that one more time, other side. Opposite hand to leg, open wide through the heart. Gentle exhale, pull. Last time, stretch back through the heel, breathing in, lifting the heart wide, that little twist. We'll breathe out and come back to the mat. So remember, if your knees are tender on the floor, add that little beach towel or that little cushion under the knee at any point in time. I'm gonna begin by taking my right foot up between the hands, but keeping my back knee to the floor. Then nudging this foot a little bit forward, that as I give weight, I'm certainly still having my knee over my ankle, never wanting to have the knee going over the tiptoe. So we nudge the foot forward, give a little bit of weight to this forward leg, feeling the stretch extend through your back thigh. You can just certainly relax the hands to the thigh or as it's comfortable, breathing in, arms reaching skyward. As it's comfortable from here, giving a little opening or lift through the chest. Easy, exhale, bring the hands into the mat and start to wake up now into the hamstring. Imagine your tiptoes could curl to your kneecap. In doing so, we activate this stretch deeper into the calf. Let's take a breath here for three, two, one, bend the knee. Good, one more time, lift through the heart up to the sky, exhale. Take this leg, reach it back one more time. Good, and then reverse. Take your other leg forward. Once more, we're just gonna nudge the foot a little bit beyond the knee. Extend a little bit of weight forward. Feeling the stretch now through the opposite thigh. Hands to the thigh, breathe here. We could certainly stay here. As you like, reaching up, opening through the chest. Exhale as you're ready, fold to the mat, and extend back through the hip, lengthening deeper into this calf by bringing the tiptoes again towards the knee. And then we're going to bend the knee, come through, stretch the leg again back, little press of the heel, and then back into table pose. Curl the toes in, press the hips back as though you're going to child's pose, but you're lifting up to our downward facing dog. And if you want, you can just start to walk out the legs a little bit, pressing the hip to the sky and lengthening the spine. If you like, one leg can reach through, pressing the bottom heel to the floor. Again, feeling that stretch extend through that bottommost leg. Exhale. And then from here, we're going to reverse. Take our other leg high towards the sky as it's comfortable, lift through the hip, bottom heel pressing to the floor, exhale to the mat, downward dog. Take a breath here for three, two, one. I'm going to lead with my right foot forward up between the hands to the lunge. Take your time to nudge the foot all the way through. This time our back knee is lifted away from the floor. And you could keep the hands to the floor if you wanted. You can always bring a chair or a support here. And as you feel comfortable, bring your hands to your thigh. Your hips are squared forward. We're taking a breath in, lifting up, just a breath into warrior one. Gentle exhale, come forward. We're gonna move through the shoulders, like we're kind of swimming in space. Reach through the fingertips. Exhale to the mat. Again, a twist, lift if your right leg is forward, up with your right arm. Exhale, we're gonna reach back to plank. Take a breath here, just steady and plank, and then lead back again, downward facing dog. As you're ready, lift the other leg to the sky, left leg for me, and bringing the foot forward between the hands. Your feet should be hip width apart. We'll take a breath in. As you feel comfortable rising up, you could always keep the hands to the floor or to the chair. So in warrior one, we wanna lift the back leg away from the floor, forward knee bending, reaching to the sky. And 
exhale, fold back to the mat. Take a lift again. Now this time, left arm to the sky, twisting full heart skyward. Exhale, folding in. And then again, let's come back to plank just for a moment. Extend energy back through the heel. Take a breath in. Lower knees to the floor. And we're going to stretch back just where we began to child's pose. a few nice long deep breaths in and out through the nose. Feel the weight of your hips heavy towards the heel, the shoulders and arms just relax to the floor. Two more deep breaths here together. On the next inhale, we're going to press ourselves back through and we'll just come back to sit comfortably to our heels or a simple seat. From this space, we could certainly come onto our back and rest in final relaxation or do any stretches we wanted on the uh, floor to our back. So this again is just a brief little practice to help move a little bit of that tightness that tends to build in the body, the hips and back, legs, etc. I hope you have found it helpful. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I will look forward to being again with you soon. Take good care.